107.5 WGCI, the shot's number one for hip-hop and R&B. Hey, listen, man, I love it when Chicago royalty comes by. Yes, sir. And today, man, Harvey World's Finest is in the building. My right, dog, right, Mr. Right. LaRoy yeah. Hawkins, is in the building. What's up, Playboy? Bro, I can't complain about a thing. I'm with the death of Man, come What's on, up? man. Taking a little time away from Chicago PD. Hey, yes, look, sir. I just want to say something, man. You know you've made it. When you tell white women, I was having some small talk with these white ladies, middle-aged white ladies, oh and I said, yeah, uh, my wife worked on Chicago PD. She was like, I love that show. The black gentleman that's on there, I said, oh, yeah, LaRoyce Hawkins, that's my man. I got four drinks bought for me. <laughs> <laughs> on the arm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, you know what I drink, Zach. You know how I get at. I know you get They yeah. was like, get him whatever he's drinking. I'm like, oh, okay. Look at that. <laughs> Off the strength of the black gentleman. I meant to call you, G, the black gentleman. They didn't even know your name. I said, his name is Roy Hawkins. She was like, yes, I, officer, yes, I love him. I said, oh, okay. They yes, relax. I'll have the Yamakaze 19, please, <laughs> on the rocks. Oh, that's so old. Hey, Yo, you stalk around. around. Okay, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. I'm glad they're showing love. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, LaRoyce, man, um, I know you're happy. Chicago PD It's back, right? Yes, sir. All right, man, what can we expect in this new 11th season? Man, Damn! We, yeah, 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 yeah. We we in this elite eleven season, man, doing our best to uh to really just punch him in the mouth hard. It's an abbreviated season. Mm-hmm. Um, we only doing thirteen episodes off the strength of the strike. So um so every episode is carried away. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, we still we still coming down off of uh, last week's episode, which was a big one for me. And my character, um, run that back on Peacock as soon as you can. We want to get those okay. numbers up on that one. But even last night, we showed something uh, dope and different. So, yeah, yeah, man. Chicago PD is probably uh, in his prime right now. Bro, I, I like the fact that you've kept your head down and worked hard on one of the longest-running shows like Chicago PD. Uh, that's a blessing. But now I hear you. You up for your first NAACP award? Yeah, man, ain't that Come crazy? Come on, man. Bro. That means you, hey, mean you get to wear like some fly with pointy shoulders uh, and, a, and an ascot on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have something wild for the yeah, NAACP yeah. awards. I'm going to pull up. You know, I'm going to represent as well. I'm going to represent as well. Um, but no, nah, man, it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. You know, I looked at the category, um, Most Outstanding Supporting Actor, and I think that's appropriate because I've just really done my best since day one to be a bridge. You know what I mean? Um, a bridge between the black community and cop culture. Um, you know, I'm from Harvey World, where the first person you look up to ain't necessarily the police. All right. <laughs> so um, so when I took this role, I knew what my assignment was. And uh, and I'm just grateful that I've been able to do my thing for this long. Plus, um, I got to be real with you. Okay. Leon. Mm-hmm. I, I truly do live my life making sure that I don't get the goofy ass people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you bro. know what? That's real, man. I ain't never seen Royce in no trouble, man. <laughs> right. Walk a straight line. Yeah, man. I'll be trying to do my best to stay out the way. Lay low with it. That's I ain't hilarious. know I have people I didn't know that have people shook yeah, like that. You know, yeah, so many no, people be like, hey man, I just ain't trying to be the goofy ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. crazy. All right, now, um, LaRoyce, I do gotta ask you about this. Yeah. Now, the strike went on mm-hmm. and how did that affect you? You know, how did you keep yourself busy while you weren't working? Man, you know, the, the strike really taught me how I was built, how the people around me was built. Um, I, get, I kept my head down and tried to get back to what introduced it all. You know, I started in stand-up, so I found myself at, at Riddles, you know what I'm saying, working out. I got back on the road, mm-hmm. put some poems and some uh, and some good stories together, and, uh, and I enjoyed myself. But I also, I found my first restaurant gig. Oh, wow. I went to the Adelina. Y'all been to the Adelina on 912 North State? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's too rich for Italian. my blood. I have a okay. family that I have to pay for, <laughs> so we more, more of a Golden Corral family. Have you ever been we to the too? Harold's on 87th yeah, yeah, right. and Paddy? <laughs> no, no. Bel- believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, the Harold's on Madison hired me also, and the Adelina did, and I was just cleaning up at the Harold's. Okay. What was you doing yeah. at the Adelina? At the Adelina, I was hosting a bar back and just dropping people off at their seats, right. you know what I'm saying, passing menus out, that pouring free water. I don't believe I'm that. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I was suiting the boot of the was day, it, too. Was it, a, was it for a, a reality show or something? Nah, I just wanted to really learn something, you know what I'm saying, pick up a skill set and just, you know, introduce myself Royce, to a different type of experience. You're not post cuss on that, man, but you're on some bullshit right now. All right, want me to tell you the underplay for the yeah, over Yeah, come on, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know damn well, 10 years old, 
Oh, oh, Chicago PD, and now I'm bar backing. No, I don't work like this that. The underplay for the overlay. You ready? Okay. So naturally, I got my idea for a restaurant. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I can't do it if I ain't really had no real experience. You want to see? Okay. okay. So I wanted to tap into it and really see what was going on. So the whole time when I started, I was like, man, I don't know if this is a restaurant right away because there's so many characters and personalities mm-hmm. that I that I discovered while I was there. I was like, this might be a movie first. Wow. So. I'm a um you know so so I'm gonna do my best and lay low with it but I got this great idea for a restaurant. So this research, this research, this research, research. Okay, whole time. Now when you do uh Chicago PD, do you do your own stunts? I do most of the time. I ain't gonna hold you. See that's cold. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah I don't but, know about that's cold that. right there. But, but I got but Not I got. Not with guns though, right? Like yeah. maybe if you jump out of car or something. Now I can't nobody point no pistol at me and shoot no, the black man. We get stunt man in here for that. The thing is when we were at uh where was we at when we was in that skybox. We was at uh, Chappelle. Yeah. Johnny yeah. yeah. over here dropping it. Ryan, you <laughs> see this? Back up. We done went from restaurants to Skybox. Damn. Zach Bug be outside, boy. I, 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 I knew I was bug? in the right place, but oh, I see him. I was like, Which Bug? Do you see the Bug with two cups in his hand? Oh, that was, that was, yeah. Stay away from that one, Leroy. You're going to get in trouble. For real? That's the one that's going to get you in trouble. That's the fun. What they call him, Rich Bug? No, they call him Two Fisted Bug. Two Fisted Bug? Yeah, you got to stay away from that. That's a fun time. Yeah, you're going to jail. You're going to jail with him. But I definitely do my own stuff. Because I think I've been trained up. You know, I'm from Harvey. Well, you get you get chased by dogs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I know how to jump them gates, man. I know how to foot chase. Right. When did when did you when did you realize? Because I mean, you know, I, I had the pleasure. You know, we've worked mm-hmm. several times before. I remember mm-hmm. when we came and did the joint down. I stayed in Bloomington. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? Shout yep. out to I State. Uh, and I learned so much about you on that show. I didn't know you was a, a, a fraternity member. Yes, sir. I didn't know you know you know. I didn't know you did any of that. And I was like, damn, this dude is like well rounded. When did you find out that acting was the thing though? Because you do comedy, you do spoken word. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. When did you find out that acting was your niche? It was honestly, um, it was it was the last thing I think I picked up in the bag. And when I realized it was the bread and butter after I did my first movie, and naturally, you know, getting paid every week. The way I was getting paid every week, I was like, "Yeah, I think I can figure this one out. I think this one, I think this one's gonna be the one that that helps support the other gifts." You know what I'm saying? I do my best to make sure that they don't compete with each other because I think they all come from the same place. Mm-hmm. But um, obviously, acting has been the bread and butter. I consider her the girl that brought me to prom, so she the one I've been really respecting um, and doing my best with. Even though I get to dance a little bit with the other gifts every now and then. You know, and speaking of the other gifts, man, you do a lot of give back and charitable work. Yeah. So speak on your um, charitable, charitable organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, obviously Be, Be Powerful is an entertainment company, but there's a charitable arm called Hood Development. Hood Development prioritizes Harvey and the villages that surround Harvey, um, but it starts at home first, naturally. And so, um, you know, I, we just do our best to make sure that we're throwing opportunities and resources out there. Um, one of the last things we did, we did a filming I mean, the screening for uh, Origin, which is the Ava DuVernay film mm-hmm. that, that I, th- I suggest everybody go check out. Right now, we're working on a studio, um, state-of-the-art studio in Thornton High School. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's powerful, too. I ain't going to hold you, man. Um, shout out to my big homie, Jason Clark, whose uh, boots on the ground to make sure that we just ever do all that heavy lifting. That's dope. But the hood is on the way, man. Harvey is looking good. Hey, man. Hey, listen, Harvey, man. I don't know if y'all listen. I know our voice might not matter, man. But go on ahead. Y'all got to name a street after my man out there, Harvey, man. Come on. Ooh. Willie Willie from day 26 got one, man. Hey, Roy Hawkins got to have one, I've been waiting on mine, man. I've been watching everybody get their joint. <laughs> Uh, man, he got be it. Just, man, y'all At least gotta one get, of them cold to sack. Man, come on, on, man. Come 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 on, man. Come